Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the Goosebumps book tag. So I was tagged to do this by Fixie Dust. There are, let's see, uh, 10 questions plus an optional bonus question, and I'll tag some people at the end. So without further ado, let's get going. Question one, welcome to Dead House. Tell us your favorite and least favorite horror tropes. So for me, I think my favorites are like, almost like isolation horror. So when people are in the middle of nowhere and they've got no contact with the outside world and something bad is happening. I always enjoy that, even in like forests and stuff. And my least favorite horror tropes would probably be, that's a good question, I don't know about my least, just like needless gore for the sake of gore, I guess. It's hard to do it well, especially in books, but um, sometimes, like, gore with a purpose can work well, so. <laughs> Question number two, stay out of the basement. Is there a place or area that you find creepy to be in? And the thing that sprung to mind for this was the crawl space under my dad's house in Spain, because basically I went out there in October, and I had to keep on going into this crawl space under the house and fill up these sacks with rubble. And then this one evening, I had this, like, it was like a lucid dream except a bit with like sleep paralysis so I was awake in bed and I could hear this voice going get out get out and I was like just lying in bed and couldn't move but uh, sorry cat I wasn't talking to you but um yeah but I was awake so so then I th started getting paranoid that I was going to find some like bones beneath the uh, you know am amongst all the rubble or something so it got kind of creepy Question number three, say cheese and die. Show us your favorite horror themed cover. So for this, the one that sprung to mind is Gristle and Bone by Duncan Ralston. And uh, this is an indie novel as well, which kind of makes it even cooler. Well, he, he used to be published by Booktrape, who published my first few books before going bust, but it wasn't either of our faults. Question number four, Night of the Living Dummy. If you could bring to life any fictional character, who would it be? What was the little girl's name in Firestarter by Stephen King? I can't remember. Her, anyway. Probably bring her to life just so that we... Charlie, that was it. So I can just, like, unleash her in, like, the financial district of London and she'll just start setting stuff on fire. Question number five. The Girl Who Cried Monster. What is an urban legend that you secretly believe is true? So I don't really believe in urban legends, so the best I could think of is Banksy. Which isn't an urban legend, but it's the best I've got for this answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> Question number six, The Haunted Mask. Favourite supernatural creature? You can also pick a movie monster if you want. So, not specifically Dracula. Vampires in general are pretty cool, but Dracula is probably the coolest of the bunch. Question number seven, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Favourite werewolf book slash movie? Bonus points if you have a favourite werewolf transformation scene. So for me, I've gone for Night Watch by Terry Pratchett, just because of Angua. She is one of the uh, the cops, for lack of a better word, in the Night Watch with under the under the command of Samuel Vimes, and she's also a werewolf. And it does lead to quite a few amusing scenes when she transforms, and then she's like, you know, she's suddenly naked, but she's a cop as well. She got to arrest somebody. Question number eight: One day at Horrorland, tell us about a spooky pastime. So for me, I don't really have any spooky pastimes. I mean, I guess I sometimes write horror. I also stay up far too late and I have a black cat. Well, I do. <laughs> Question number nine. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Favorite book slash movie involving witchcraft. So I've gone for Terry Pratchett and I picked up Weird Sisters, but basically any of the witches books. Witches Abroad was a good one. I quite like the Tiffany Aching books in the end as well. But I think this was one of the first witches books that I read. So uh, yeah which is from Terry Pratchett's Discworld. Question number 10, A Night in Terror Tower. If you were to be put into a horror movie, which would it be? And uh, I would probably be put in Scream and I would die first. Optional bonus question. 11, welcome to Camp Nightmare. Tell us a spooky campfire story. They grew out of the darkness, mysterious lights that hid in plain sight and abstract mockery of the senses. In the living room of a dingy flat in Hammersmith, tall and proud and shimmering like a mirage they stood. The only other light was a flickering TV set which broadcast bright white noise to the sleeping occupant of the sofa. Wake. Their shared voice echoed around the room. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I did that from memory. That's, that's the chapter one or the prologue. I can't remember what the title was. For No Rest for the Wicked by Dane Cobain. Go and buy all my books. Yay. Alright, anyway, on that note, it's time to tag some people. So I'm going to tag Todd the Librarian. 
I'm going to tag Graham Quigley. I'm going to tag Mindy's Book Journey. Minx Laura 123 because I bet she liked Goosebumps. In fact, I'll also tag Kit Cats Can Read. Uh, Bull Butt Geek as well. And yeah, that'll do. So on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit subscribe for more videos and I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.